come on in. I'm going to wait for Facebook to catch up. We're going to do our we're going to do our Club Couture August Club Couture on a t-shirt. Maybe I can find myself. Okay, there we Okay, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and get started. Hi Wanda, hey sis. So we are going to do August Club Tour. We did it last night on the the um, canvas, painter's canvas, and added the wood truck cutout. Tonight we're going to do the same one on a shirt. We're going to ink it. wrinkly because I got it and then just took it out of the package and it's kind of wrinkly. And then I don't have to fuzz this because it is going to go right on cloth anyway. And we're going to use we're going to use the eucalyptus again for the wreath. We're going to use the coral for the little like berries in between. And oh, I got that wrong. This is eucalyptus. This is a uh, they are so close. Um, this is ocean mist blue. I don't have anything that was more this blue. It's a lot lighter, but I want to try it. We'll see. Center this. I always try to go by the uh, tag about halfway down. And again, with inks, you don't have to go quickly because they don't dry as fast. So you can take your time at doing this. I'm going to use my little multi tool here for the uh, beat the berries. And I'm going to put my inks off to the side simply because I don't want to accidentally dip my shirt into them. Or knock them on the floor here. Get my wipes out because I know I will get ink on me. So if you're new to this, um, this is a Club Couture uh, design uh, transfer. 
um, you have to belong to the the club, and it is a subscription. You, it's nineteen ninety nine a month, uh, free shipping. You get a B size transfer, which is what you see here, and you'll get um, three packets of paste. And I don't know what I did with my paste. Anyway, the packet of paste, and um, and you will um, sign up. When you sign up, you have to sign up for three months. So you have to be in it for three months. After the three months, if you decide you don't want to do it no more, you can cancel, or you just want to be a customer, so, but you don't want to be in the club because you want to be able to choose what transfers you want to get. Then you can just um, s stop being a club member and just go ahead and be a, a, a customer, and then you can go on my website and choose and pick whatever you want. Not that you, you can still do that during d being a club member too. Um, a club members get benefits um, a lot of times they'll do like specials on surfaces or uh, inks or um, chalks, things like that, um, but only club members can get. So that's a good, that's another incentive for the, the club to, to be in. Um, in, let me put this, my, uh, sorry, I always forget to put my website. <laughs> yeah, kind of hard to go in and do, look at it if you don't know where to go. I typed it in right before I okay. And then I'm gonna pin it so it'll stay there. Okay, so that's my website. You can go there, you can click on it, you can click on, you can touch my nose or any part of the, the screen, and it'll take you to Color Your World, and you can also get to my website on Color Your World. Um, if you have not yet gone and liked and uh, followed my business page, which is Color Your World, go ahead and tap on that and hit the, the like um, follow button. And I appreciate that. And then you will be notified when I do go on live or you can, it'll, you'll get notifications and you can watch them later. And yes, 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 I ramble on like this on all my videos, so sorry. <laughs> okay, so I am going to do the leaves and see if I can keep from getting them in the berries. If I do, then the berries are going to be green. And yes, I'm concentrating. I don't want to mess it up. As you come in, I want to say hi. Forgive my messy hair bun, but it's warm in here, so I need that hair off my neck. And this is um, our ink. Consistency is always what it should be. You should not have to stir it. You shouldn't have to put any kind of water in it. it. Should always be at a perfect consistency. That's the one great thing about inks too. It is permanent. Um, you do have to heat set it once it dries, or it could fade or come off when you wash it. Uh oh, I forgot to. I forgot to turn my notifications off. Sorry. Um, so when this is dry um, when this is done I usually let it sit for about 24 hours sometimes I let it sit for a week and a half it just depends on when when but um, then I will hit it with either a regular iron for the setting of whatever this is so this is cotton so whatever your cotton setting is um, you're gonna do four minutes on each side which what I mean is four minutes on this side and then turn the shirt inside out and four minutes on the other side or you can use a heat pressure um, from Cricut. You can get a heat press um, and it's um, 30 seconds on 350 degrees I believe it is. And you can do both sides with the heat press. I don't but 
I don't want to tell you not to because I would hate for yours to come off. And but I'm tell you right now, I've never had any of my ink come off if I didn't do the other side with the heat press. We're just going to go around being very careful not to hit our berries. And not to get off on the side onto the shirt. If you do mess up when you're inking, you can fix it. Um, you can either get a, a lot of times you can just get like one of those little bleach pins and it should take some most of that out. If it doesn't, you can always um, embellish that spot with something else like a heart or a star or something. Excuse me. Hi Pam, hi Christine. You said when I first started doing this um, a year and a half ago, <clears throat> every time I inked, I would take masking tape or um, painter's tape and tape around the edges because I was messy. I wasn't paying attention. I would be talking and next thing you know, it was all over. Now I've gotten a lot better, but I still, when I'm talking, sometimes I will not be paying attention. It happens. Happens to the best of us. And like I said, with ink, it's um, it's forgiving as far as you don't have to go as quickly as you do with chalk, because even though I have the fan going there and that going, it's not going to dry. It takes it'll dry, dry, but it won't dry like chalk. So when I pull up, it won't not stay on my shirt. Now this would go a lot faster if I had decided to just make the berries the same color, but I want to do something different than I did last night. I'm going to make a little bit of a contrast between the two. And it's just a great way to um, make gifts for your family or birthdays. or wedding gifts or I've done a few for like um couple they were getting married so we did a Mr. and Mrs. on shirts and a hat then like a baseball cap and that's another thing got fonts we have different kinds of fonts different styles different sizes um, so you can make anything you can put anything you want on there just want to make sure it looked like it was kind of lifting so I'm going to push that back down Everybody's quiet tonight. Nobody's talking except me. And you want to press down hard enough for it to go through the uh, silk screen, but not so hard that it seeps up underneath. Hi, Pam. Does the ink work better on, yes, you don't want to use chalk on fabric because I mean, you can. I've used chalk on like um, canvas pillowcases that are going to be sitting like outside on a, somebody's porch. But you're not going to be able to wash them because the chalk will come off. Chalk's not permanent. If you want something that's going to be permanent, you want to use the ink.
every now and then you'll get a spot that doesn't want to go through. I don't know why there. Okay. Oops. I kind of just got a little bit into the berry part there, but we're going to cover that up with um, some coral, so hopefully it'll not show too bad. Got a little, uh, little crazy over here and not paying attention. Last leaf. Okay, just gonna give it a quick look over, make sure that they're all covered. Looks like. Wipe the rest of that off of there. I'm going to go with my coral and hit those berries. Okay, I got a couple get see a couple of the leaves here that didn't quite get And I like this little multi-tool because it's like a little pen, so kind of easier to use sometimes than the, the longer squeegees. Okay, here's the one that, uh, this is the one that I got the green in, so let's see if we can, hopefully that'll cover that. And then we're going to do the blue in here. It's just a very, it's called morning sky, so it's really light blue, really light blue.
want that off of there. Again, I want to make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers so I don't get it on areas I don't want it on. I want to make sure that spot was... Yep, it's fine. So I always pull it up slowly so if I do miss a spot then I can lay it back down really quickly and fix that. And also, when it comes to cotton, if you pull it up too fast, the fibers will pull up. And when they lay, when they relax back down with the ink, sometimes you get a fuzzy look on your um, design. I've done that many times when I first started doing it, and I've learned that if you go slowly, it doesn't rip those fibers, it doesn't shock them. So, and then, it, like I said, if you miss a spot, you see a spot you missed, you can just lay it back down and, you know, go over that again. really quickly and I'm going to close these up because I'm going to turn this around and I don't want to stick my sleeve right in the ink because yes I have done that before and I have my little pan of water right there because I wanted to make sure that got right in the uh, in the water and didn't dry in the silk screen Because once you pull it up and the ink is pulled out of there, what is left on the silk screen will dry quickly and it will clog them up and you won't be able to use them. Again, where's my bag? Oh, what you guys think? Can you see? I can't, I, I'm blind. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see. I'll have to wait till my uh, delayed program here gets... I'm watching myself. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you can see. And that one spot that had the, uh, the berries that was um, that had gotten the green, it, the coral covered it up nicely. Thanks, Pam. So yeah, I have my little, that's why I can, because I can't read that. I got, my eyes are where I can't see far away. I need these to see far away. I can't see if I have them on, if I mean, so when I'm doing this, I can't. So I have to have them off to do this, but I can't read what's up there, so I have to have this so I can read what you guys say. Ugh. I know, I need bifocals, but, you know, going and getting your eyes, anything checked that they have to get close up on you anymore. So not as easy okay so I'm actually I'm gonna leave no well, maybe not let me see yeah I'm gonna leave that on there just to tell it dries a little bit more I don't want it accidentally leaking through to the back side of the shirt because I do plan to wear this so guys that was gonna be my live for tonight tomorrow I'm on chalk live at um, 8 o'clock don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I always, I never know what I'm gonna do on that. I'm always wait like five minutes before and I grab some stuff and do something. So, um, probably won't be back until maybe Monday on my page here. On projects that you do like that, do you wash it inside out? No, I don't have to wash it inside out. I just throw it in like I do with anything else. Once it's heat set with the either the regular iron or a heat press. It stay, it's going to be on. You don't have to. It's not going to crack. Uh, and to be honest with you, the, the design, the ink design will stay, will be on there long after the shirt is, you know, thread barren and you've thrown it away. So it stays on really well. I've, I've got, actually, this is one of the shirts I've done. I did this about a year ago. And I did it and I did the um, ombre on the wording there, so... 
and I've and it's been in the wash many many times I don't turn it inside out or anything like that so okay any other questions before I go a big jug of water here Okay, guys, I hope that answered all your questions and you had fun watching because I had fun doing it. Um, and I will be back on chalk. I don't know if you're watching me on my uh, on Color Your World or if you're watching me on my business or my regular page, which is fine either way. I'll be back probably Monday. We'll do something with chalk and wood. Yeah. So. Have a great night. As always, stay safe. Be kind to one another. God bless. Bye.